Meteorologist Josh Cozart. All right, I've been doing my stretches, and this is my big athletic moment. Uh, we have with me here Jasmine. Jasmine and I are going to be doing the hurdles. She gets the baby hurdles, uh, which may have been a mistake on my part to do so. Uh, but I think we're going to do the countdown now. Are we ready? You guys ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. First hurdle. Second, look at her fly through those. Oh, my goodness. And I am obviously the loser. Uh, uh, great job. Thank you did you. fantastic. How does it feel to uh, have beaten me? Oh, it feels pretty good. <laughs> it, it should feel really good. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get you your guys' weather forecast here. I should have maybe have thought about uh, doing a hurdle run right before giving a full forecast, but let's go ahead and take a live look outside over Hayward Field, where the real athletes are currently participating on the, the bright, sunny blue skies here across western Oregon. As for our temperatures, they're still very much so on the hot side, with satellite and radar showing calm, quiet, clear conditions all across our region. Although we are seeing that marine there find its way back into some locations ever so slightly, that will only be increasing as we move into tomorrow and the precip over the next six to ten days. It's going to be on the dry side for us all across the western half of the Pacific Northwest, and that is only going to be feeding into the drought situation. That continues here across western Oregon, and we will see the allergy count potentially start to rise as our temperatures will start to warm. But Right now, grass is back down to a count of 20. That puts us in the high category. Trees at 11, low category. But again, with the lack of rainfall, not able to wash out our skies by any stretch. So our next weather maker, it does come in the form of an upper level low pressure system and a trough. Everything moves from the west to the east. So we will eventually see some cooler air move in by the time we move into not only Thursday, but Friday, even potentially cooler temperatures seen below the normal as high pressure pushes its way further to the south. So precip, clouds, wind. And that's where we got all the calm, quiet, clear conditions, with the exception of the marine layer finding its way into some locations here across western Oregon and potentially filling into those valley locations. Early morning lows are going to be falling back into the 50s in many cases, although early this morning we struggled to even dip that low as our daytime highs tomorrow much cooler than what we've experienced over the past several days, only managing to warm up into low to mid 80s through the I-5 corridor and 60s along the south coast. Now, not only are we having a great time here at the Eugene Riverfront, but we are also having fun out at the Lane County Fair today. Day one, tomorrow day two, that's going to be much cooler out there. Still plenty of sunshine, but a few more clouds, especially earlier in the day as our temperatures warm up into the low 80s for us. And our seven-day forecast for the Eugene Springfield area does show that this cool down is very short-lived. The 90s, if not even close to triple-digit heat, is possible by the middle of next week as the sunshine continues to rain down. No rainfall, and that goes just the same for the south coast as temperatures right out into the mid-60s. It will be breezy starting Saturday, lasting through Monday. Wind gusts during about 15 to 20 miles per hour. The Umpqua Valley also seeing that cool down back to the low to mid-80s for us, but mid-90s. 98 is our expected daytime high on Tuesday, so the summer heat it is put on pause here for at least the next day or two, and it ramps right back up in the next week. I'm going to go find myself some water, though, after that hurdle race, and who knows, maybe during the 6 o'clock news. I'll, I'll try the sprints. We'll just see how that goes as well. But I'll go ahead and send things back over to you in a very cooled AC studio. Brandon. All right, I'm worried about you, Josh. Don't pull a hamstring out there. Well, as Josh mentioned, today was the first day of the